the water level in the pond is finally high enough for the dredge to get over the bedrock ridge. There we go. We're back in business. That should be good. All right. Wow. They sure got enough water down here. Good thing we got a boat. Look at that, would you? This not gonna work. Well, the water is higher than the ground. If we wanna strip five feet off, we're gonna have to get that water down. You can't strip under water. I mean, it just goes to show that you can't leave for a week. I'm annoyed. What the f***, Kevin? What? Boy, you got a leak out there. Hey? Well, if we don't have this much water, we're digging about six plus feet of bedrock. I mean, it would have been certainly nice to know that you started flooding everybody out. Monica's out there trying to do some stripping, but that just burning fuel over there getting stuck. That's going to cost nothing but money either, right? OK. So you guys going to have to find a happy medium. Anyway, it'd be nice that you tell me to you know that? Ready for cleanup? Uh, no, but we'll do it anyways. Turn his reaction like it usually is. And I was going to go out on a big old huffy, have a big old union meeting. And then we're going to keep on doing what we're doing, because he doesn't got a clue. Not a great start for him letting us run our own thing, is it? At Eureka Creek, it's two weeks since Kevin took charge of the dredge. Up to 100. Now, Tony has arrived for the first cleanup of the season. See what this water ball doing, I guess. It's a major test of Kevin's role as dredge master. Perfect, Kevin. That looks OK to me. So you mean this OK? Basically, there is nothing but gold down here. There's little nests of it all the way through. That's all yellow in there. Kevin, how's it going? Uh, it's going like usual, slow. But at the end of the day, it's pretty encouraging considering it's only 100 hours on these mats, so. Because there's piles of it all the way through. No question about it, it does look good. I mean, hey, we ran 100 hours. Maybe, hopefully, we get 100 ounces out of it. Whatever gold we're getting out of dress number one this year is likely going to disappear in moving dress number two. The moment of truth. You know, say, Minnie, when, uh, when I did the cleanups, they looked real nice. Wait, 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 wait. When you did the cleanups? <laughs> when, I was super, when I was supervising the cleanups, you know, it looked pretty good. For an early start this year, that is pretty nice. Uh, we need 163 more ounces to pay for the dread, so. For last year. For last yeah. year. Yeah, well, why don't you pour it in and Monica, see what we got. Do it. Let's see what the f got. One, two, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 160, 61. Two, one, sixty. Stop! The dreads is paid off right there. There you go. That is good. And that is mine because you can't spend <laughs> it. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. From now on, all the gold caught by the million-dollar dredge is profit. Do it. Do it. 190. 200. Yeah. 254. 55, 56. Seven, two fifty-eight point five. Hey, that is pretty damn good, isn't it? That's amazing. Huh? Even with all the setbacks, in two weeks, Kevin's captured three hundred and ten thousand dollars worth of gold, on a par with the dredge's best cleanup last year. That's really good. For the first fourteen days of the season, we had a nice little spot there, didn't we? See, I told you so. Just leave us be and let us get to it. Uh huh. And. And I think he's whining. I think he's okay. whining. I think he needs See. Some cheese. Whoa, you know. Can you imagine if he get this every 14 days the money I could spend? <laughs> <laughs> really?